welcome to Ride is Rain Crochet. Today we're doing our little pig. And um, if, um, if you didn't see part one of the video that does the body, um, I'll go ahead, I will have the link below for you to watch um, the video on this. And um, once again, this pattern is from Crochet Pattern Goods. Um, of course, I'm, I always tweak it a little bit. Um, I will also put that link below if you wanted to get that pattern from Etsy. So what we're going to do is make this little pig ear. Um, so let's go ahead and get whatever color. If you want to stick with just pink or whatever color you're picking, you're fine. So we're going to do a magic ring, okay? And then in this magic ring, we chain one to lock it. We're going to do seven single crochets. Seven. Wonderful. Go ahead and tighten this up. Now we're not going to be um, crocheting in the round, so we're not. We're just going to leave that like that. And let's go ahead and chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. We're going to single crochet three times in the top stitch. three single crochets and one stitch right there. And then we're going to do another reg single, three single crochets. And this one down here is always kind of a burger. So try to grab what you can. Um, you know what this will look like. So then we just tighten this up and there's our cute little ear. What I want to do is the first ear we want to clean. Go ahead and just sew both your ends in. Um, and then this second ear, make sure you Leave yourself a long tail because what we'll do is we'll just use this tail and we'll we'll do one ear and then we'll just go under and sew the other ear so you don't have so much um, thread in your way. You know, you don't have so much yarn in your way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch or I'm sorry, go ahead and weave in my ends here. All right. Sorry that I keep getting out of camera. I moved my camera and I curse now I have to change the way I sit. Right, right. Okay, so here's our ears. We've got two ears. And then Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make the nose. We're going to chain four. So maybe one, two... Okay, so now we're going to make our nose. We're going to do a slip knot. We're going to chain four. Okay, and the second chain from the hook, in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do two single crochets down one side, one, two, and we're at the very end, so we're going to do three single crochets in this last stitch we have here. One, two, and we're gonna be moving around to the other side. So go, go ahead and try to tuck your guys' yarn in if you can. Um, that's three. And then we're gonna do one single crochet. There we are. And then on this last stitch here, we're gonna do two. single crochets or an increase. All right. Now let's slip stitch up here to the top to our first stitch. Okay. Slip stitch. We're going to chain one to get our height up here because we're not really crocheting just totally in the round. So we're going to go ahead and lift it. Let's do an increase. So that's two single crochets. Next, we're gonna just do one single crochet. Then we wanna do three increases. So three different stitches are going to have two stitches in them. 
and I'll try not to jump out of my stitches here. So, okay, one. Two and three. That takes us around the corner there. Very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Single crochet. And now we're going to come back up so to this other corner. So now we're going to go ahead and do two increases. That's one. And that's two. And then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch it to our first stitch. Like so. Leave a long tail for sewing the nose on. Go ahead and weave in your other end here. Okay, very nice. So, now we have our nose. So I'm not going to videotape sewing all this stuff on. Um, but, uh, of course, we're going to do our nose like this here. If you wanted to put just a little bit of stuffing in there so that it stood out and was more prominent, you can do that and then pin it on and sew it around. And then our ears. Of course, we're just going to put our ears wherever we think we would like them to be. Sometimes we like our animal's ears to be a little lower or up higher. Um, and then we're just going to sew those on as well. So what I want to move to next is um, the dress. We're going to do a dress. So um, depending on what yarn, I think that I am going to, uh, I need to find a contrasting color. So I'm going to get that figured out and I'll come back and we'll do the dress. Okay, if you guys want to start sewing that stuff on, go ahead and I'll meet you back here when we're ready to get her dressed. Okay, so I decided to actually remake my ears because I had this dark pink and I just thought it would look really cute having this lighter pink. Um, and I thought I'd just show you a couple techniques and I'm sure all of you guys have probably better ones than I do um, when it comes to sewing stuff on. But what I like to do is I like to come down here. If you have enough room, it's big enough, then you can do it this way. Um, if it's a smaller piece, you can't. And then skip a stitch. And then you come back to that stitch. I'm going to go back to this one just to be safe. Whoops, there we are. It ends up working kind of well when you do it this way. So going back in and then coming out see how much I that's why I love this okay and then when we get up here we'll probably do more of the go through I'll show you that when we get there I'm going to finish this up um, and then I'll show you a couple things on the ears that I do okay so now I'm just sewing my ends in so or my tail and again just go somewhere in the body go crisscross crisscross make sure you're coming through a hole um, not splitting anything and then we pull that tight and we trim and it sucks right back in and then on the ears so much like we did so we did with uh, um, our legs I don't know what we did it on anyway our arms our arms we sewed them on um, we're just going to use one, one of these and then go past this direction once we are done. Um, and this one is a little tougher because we're not sewing the ear all the way down. Um, we are literally doing this. So I go into the back. I'm trying so hard to show you guys. After I get this going, back around and then grab some dark pink. And here you can even go way out here if you want. Um, this is kind of the part I wanted to show you. And then just go back in and then grab that piece that you're wanting to grab. Then we're going to go right back into this next one.
That pin just got me. Okay, and then just before the last stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and see where I want this to sit at so that I can have room to pull it tighter or open it up more, um, whichever you feel. Look, I got a little booger there. Let's cut this off. Okay. So I kind of like it when it's tight, tighter like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back through the body and I'm gonna grab, kind of fold it down right where I wanted that to be um, and go ahead and bring it through there. And we'll go back a little bit. I try very hard to make all of my amigurumi um, good for toys because not always is somebody going to buy something or, or you're going to give something to them and they can and they're just going to put it on the shelf. Um, so I make sure that things are sewn on really well. Um, just like the eyes, it's just so important to me not to have my work, um, well, come apart, you know, and this way kids can be tough with them and doesn't really hurt anything. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do this other ear. I'm going to come up here, get this ear done, maybe. All right, push, push. It's just giving me a hard time. Okay, well, so you guys don't have to watch me fight. I'm going to go ahead and get this on, and then um, this time we will come back and make the dress. Okay, now we're back onto our little dress for her. Um, I decided to go ahead and do white. Again, you can pick any color you want. Um, I'm just using up, see, I'm just using up little balls that I have left anyway. Um, so we're going to chain 22. All right, we have our 22 done. We're going to go ahead and make, we're going to turn this into a, a circle. So I like to just, I, the one that I've been doing for this dress is to go into the front here, which is not seeming to be a problem. So, um, and then grab your yarn and I'm just slip stitching through like so. And we're going to chain one. This is going to get us up and we can turn our work. And so, so we can just start crocheting in the front of the stitches. Um, which I was in the front of the stitches, silly. Um, not the back of the stitches. And so now what we want to do, tuck your yarn if you can while you're going. Uh, try to get that tucked. And we're going to do 22 half, or 22 double crochets. We have 22, so we're going to go right back into the hole we, start, we came from. Tucking in our tail. And we're going to make sure we have 22 double crochets around. I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I'm on, on my last double crochet. I'm just finishing this up now. And then go ahead and flip our work. If you were crocheting like me where you were like inside of it, then just, you know, get it flipped the right way. So we're um, all got on the same page here. Let's go ahead and slip stitch to the top and get this cleaned up. Think that that's my string I need to get in okay so chain one we'll get get up we're gonna go ahead and let's do four single crochets start one right in the stitch we were in one two three and four we're going to chain five Skip three. We're only skipping three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next eight stitches.
and eight. Now five, chain five, skip three, and we're gonna single crochet in our last two. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top. Okay, so now we got us a little dress. Some of the other dresses that you don't need a long tail that I've done, um, you can also do one extra row um, of the double crochets. You can do um, three single crochets. You can also come in, and I think I'm going to do that now, is I'm going to go ahead and just make a ruffle because I'll tie in this little pink. This will just be really cute. And then I can tie in the pink that we have here on the nose and the ears. We'll go ahead and, um, so just to make a ruffle, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn, turn this upside down. Chain one. And we're just gonna do two single crochets in each stitch. That will make it have a little wave Two in each just so we're increasing all the way around this is a really cute accent um, at the bottom um, all of these colors and all of this these patterns the entire 11 of these um, can be I've manipulated them I've added new things um, and I've done different things so don't you know don't be afraid to take the base of, of a project um, like a dress or for some of the other animals um, the pair of pants and just kind of tweak them a little bit um, the way you would like, to, like them to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my increases all the way around. Um, I'm going to sew in my ends, and then I'm going to meet you back here for our next step. All right, let's get our dress on. Look, oh, it's so cute. It is too cute. I'm just going to slide it all over the legs here and put our arm through the hole and our other arm it's funny when you start you're like that is not very cute but really by the time you get done doing all the little extra things it really turns out really cute so and then i decided so one of my ears this is what's also great about doing this stuff is that you get to do what you want to do experiment try new things um, but I didn't like the way that this ear got sewn on very well. Um, I like this one better. So I made this little bow. It's so cute. And I'm going to glue this bow on. I have this three-in-one glue, and I just totally, totally, totally love it. It works really great. Dries fast. Um, but you can still work with it. And any of these like extra things like bows, um, things that are so little that it's just easier to glue them on. We're gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make the bow. Maybe you guys want two, maybe you don't want one at any at all. Um, but we're gonna do this all in a, oh, I'm sorry, all in a magic ring. That's a little tough because you're gonna be doing a lot of stitches in this. So we have our magic ring here. And first we're gonna go ahead and chain two, one, two. We did the lock already, locked it in. We're going to chain two. We're going to do two double crochets in the magic ring. Then we're going to chain two. That's the other side of the bow going down. And we'll slip stitch. And then we're going to do it again. So chain two right off the slip stitch. And then we got two double crochets. One and two, and we're going to chain two, and we're going to slip stitch again. Whoops, I lost part of that. Let's fix that. One, two. Go ahead and slip stitch in. And then we take our nifty tightener and we tighten that up. Now we have our little bow, and what we'll end up doing. is we're gonna, we'll go ahead and weave in the little end in. 
Oh, that thing just was real stuck. And then we're just going to wrap this around, I don't know, three or four times. It, just whatever you think looks good. If you'd like it a little thicker, make it thicker. And then um, I just take the needle and I weave this, the tying end. Make sure you're on the back of the project, right? Crochet at the back. And then just slip this through all of your wraps. And you can trim it. And if you don't, you don't have to do it tight. You can do it out here because we're going to glue that piece on. Um, and then this piece just after that was weaved in. And then there you have your little bow. And we go ahead and we we got her done. Do, do, do. We got our little pig done. Now I will I will come back um, later and I'll get a little bit of blush and I'll put the blush on um, with a little bit of paint. And then I'm going to sew in some eyebrows up here. And you can experiment. You can do uh, straight ones across like this. You can slant them like this. Um, whichever you're, whatever you're feeling you'd like to do, you know, test it out, try new things. And then because I put a dress to be my little girl pig, um, I've got some of these fake eyelashes. Let me grab them. I was close. Let me grab them and show you. I I really wish I would have broke down years ago and bought these. So they're they're so affordable. I just got them on Amazon. They just don't cost hardly anything. And then with that three in one glue, I'll just use a toothpick and I'll dab it around. Then I will place. I use my little tweezers. Uh -huh, these handy dandies. I and I would just set that in there and push it. And it makes and you they I mean they last forever. It's just they're totally neat. Um, I can't believe I never bought them before. So what I'm going to do is like, you guys do your bow. I'm going to finish up my work that I have here. And, um, I might end up just doing two bows here. We'll have to see how I feel. Um, I'll get some eyebrows on. I'll get my lashes on. Um, we'll get everything sewn up and I'll come back with the finished product. Okay. We got her all done guys can see her. I decided to go with two bows instead of just one. I got her wonderful eyelashes on and you just glue those on. I glue them on with that three-in-one glue and then kind of press like this. If you have a little bit bigger eyes, you can pop it under the eye and it, it helps a, a lot more. But I decided to go little eyes um, on her and her little dress. So I think she's pretty cute. Um, thank you so much for joining um, Writer's Rain Crochet today and I hope you check out the other 10 zoo animal costumes, uh, bows, ears, and noses. Um, thanks again, and um, see you soon.